Do you want to integrate ChatGPT language model into Microsoft Word? If yes, then you are at the right place. We have already explained how you can add ChatGPT in Microsoft Excel for free in a video whose link has appeared above. And you can also find it in the description below. Keeping our tradition alive, we are going to show you how you can integrate ChatGPT language model, that is GPT-3, in Microsoft Word and that too freely under a minute. So let's get started right away. To get your hands on the app that can integrate ChatGPT-like software with Microsoft Word, you have to open Microsoft Word. Over here, I have just copy and pasted an example essay on climate change around the world from the internet. I'm going to modify and I'm going to use ChatGPT software to modify this essay. But before doing that, I have to get the add-in. For that, you have to go to Insert tab. Then over here in Get Add-ins, click on this button. In the search bar, type Open AI and hit Enter. Now there are two options. The first one is Ghostwriter that directly integrates OpenAI GPT-3 model into Microsoft Office, but it requires a subscription fee. In this video, I'm going to talk about the second option, which is completely free. So click on it, and then over here, you can see that it is also powered by GPT-3 model, which is the model for chat GPT. So click on Add, and then Continue. It will take some time, and it will be installed. So here it is. If it doesn't open automatically, you can go to Home tab, and then over here, you can click on this spell book icon, and this will open for you. Now, there are a number of things that you can do with this add-in. For example, first of all, I want a good title for this essay. So I can simply ask, give me a title for this essay. Here it is, the impact of climate change. Other things that you can do is, you can ask this add-in to explain this whole essay. For example, you can say, explain the essay in 200 words. It will take some time. And here it is. It has explained the essay in, or you can say it has summarized the essay in 200 words. Moreover, you can ask the essay to detail out certain things. For example, I want this section to be in a bit more detail. So I have selected it, and then I'm going to ask the software to rewrite in a bit more detail. But before that, just for comparison, let me copy this thing over here so that we can compare whether the software has changed something or not. So I have just made a copy of these two lines over here. And now once again, I'm going to select it and ask the software to rewrite this section in 100 words. So here it is. It has read it in this section in 100 words. Now I'm going to select these two lines and click on this diamond icon and I'm going to use the suggested spells. Over here, I can find a rewrite spell. So when I'm going to ask it to rewrite, it will ask me what kind of rewriting do I require? Do I want to fix some spelling mistakes or I want to make it more concise or I want to do something else? So for example, I'm going to click on something else and now it is saying that sure, I can write this, rewrite this text. I'm going to ask the software to rewrite in a bit more detail using 100 words. It is rewriting and here it is. It has rewritten this section and you can see that it has used 102 words. Furthermore, there are other things which are by default present in this thing. For example, you can ask this software to explain this whole essay to a five-year-old or to a 25-year-old. Moreover, if you go down, you can go to this term summary, click on it, and then there are two options, term summary concise and term summary detail. If you click on concise, then it will explain some difficult terms in easy words. So it is going through the whole document, finding some difficult terms, and is going to explain them. For example, it has found three of them, so greenhouse effect, and it has explained it as the warming up of Earth's surface, then fossil fuel and deforestation as well. If you click on the detail one, it will generate some more terms as well. Additionally, let me explore something else. For example, I'm going to click on missing clauses. It is going to find that what other things could have been written over here. And it is going to suggest those things. Here it is. So although there are different sections in this essay, but it has suggested that mitigation should also be a topic. And it would mean to ensure that the parties take action to reduce or prevent the magnitude of climate change. Secondly, adaptation, financing, technology transfer, capacity building, monitoring and reporting compliance. So you can easily add some of these sections 
and then ask this software to explain or to build on these sections and then in this way you can easily add those sections in your whole essay for example i'm going to add this mitigation and let me just copy it from here to here and now i'm going to select this thing and ask the software to rewrite this section and i'm going to say it write this section on mitigation in detail using 150 words it is rewriting and it has done this thing you can see that it has written something on mitigating the climate change but still it hasn't generated 150 words which i required it to so you can keep it selected once again go to this diamond button rewrite and then you can ask it to rewrite and expand the section to 150 words you can see that it has added some figures over here it has added some history and it the total word count for this portion is now 185 which is a bit more than 150 words and it has made paragraphs as well so now this section of mitigation is looking quite good what additional things you have over here is you can ask this software to explain a particular section only for example i'm going to select this section and ask it to explain this section so it is going to explain this thing in simple words so over here it is saying that this section is talking about some of the reasons why an area might become uninhabitable or too dangerous for life to survive these reasons include things like volcanic eruption and solar radiation which can make the environment too hot or tectonic plate movement which can cause earthquake so without going through this paragraph i know that what is written in this paragraph this paragraph was uh, a bit small one but if you want to if you want to get a summary of this whole essay or uh, then you don't need to select anything you can click on this diamond icon and then select explain to a five-year-old or explain to a 25 year old if you select this one explain to a five-year-old it is going to use a simple language and be more concise whereas for 25 year old it is going to use a bit technical language so i'm going to use the click on this explain to a five-year-old and it is going to do something in a bit so here it is it has generated a summary for a five-year-old it will not contain any difficult words and it has summarized the whole essay in these few words so i hope by using this beautiful add-in that is utilizing gpt3 model you can rewrite your blogs your essays your all other documentation in a much better way and you can easily expand whatever you have already written by including more information automatically in your documents so that's it don't forget to subscribe and like our channel thank you and take care